Symbiotic has been working on automating the supply chain for 18 years. Our system is a fleet of autonomous robots that manages the movement of goods in distribution centers and warehouses. Everything from consumer packaged goods to groceries to food and beverages, apparel, many of the things that all of us rely on in our daily lives are now automated through the Symbiotic technology. We're not just working on a single robotic application or a really cool technology. We're really building a robotic system. Um, when we go to a facility, we completely automate the entire building with like a dozen different types of robotic systems working together. So that means that you have you know, perception, you have controls, you have AI and machine learning, um, you have multi-agent pathfinding, you have simulation, you have telepresence robotics. Pretty much every part of the robotics field has a place in Symbiotic and that makes it a really cool place to work. If you compare a regular warehouse with our reimagined warehouse, we have much increased uh, the safety for the human workers. You can imagine back in the days people were stacking boxes on pallets, depalletizing them for 12 hour shifts in 90 degree to 100 degree weather inside without air conditioning. You can imagine that now that we are enable people through our robotic systems that we can much more increase efficiency but also improve people's lives. Physical AI is here. If you're thinking about AI and you're only focusing on moving bits and bytes, essentially you're missing the next revolution. Because at this point what we're seeing is, is we can actually deploy AI in the real world. The days where people might stack up a pallet by hand or unload a truck, they're going away. And physical AI is going to allow us to take all of the progress that we've done in the digital space and apply it to the physical world. Because we deploy robot systems at scale at Symbotic, we have the opportunity to leverage the data that we collect every single day. And you can imagine that trove of data is very important for us, not only to improve our current systems, but also for future product development, where we can take the learnings that we have and the data that we've collected to build new things that otherwise wouldn't be possible. One of the exciting things that Symbotic brings to its customers is our autonomous robots as a fleet can not only do automated storage and retrieval of boxes in a warehouse, but they can also do sortation, combining digital information about what the stores need and exactly the quantity. We can optimize pallets of goods to be shipped to those stores much more efficiently and accurately and more densely than a manually built system. The next-gen structure is not just more dense, which is great because you can store more goods in the same space, but it's actually the substrate on which the entire fleet of robots and the algorithms that power them is running, which means that as you shrink the structure and make it more reliable, it actually makes the bots more efficient, more reliable. Our symbolic routing system also includes a powerful multi-robot execution engine. This engine keeps the operation uh, collision-free and dialogue-free. It acts at high frequency, constantly monitoring the execution progress, diagnosing small execution deviation, and adjusting the robot behavior on the fly. This allows us to keep our operations safe, efficient, and smooth at all times. We now can efficiently route and task and manage the inventory of all of the boxes in our storage structure so efficiently that just through software and algorithmic updates, we've been able to, without any hardware changes, deliver 15 to 30% more throughput into the system, creating tremendous value for the customers and for the supply chain in general. One of the key technologies that allows us to do that well is actually telepresence. So today, if a robot has a problem in production, rather than just giving up and calling a person for help, it'll first place a call to our remote support center, who can log in, see what the robot sees, actually physically manipulate the robot's joints to try to fix the problem, and then take those learnings back to the team so we can train and build a more resilient system. One of the other things that is really exciting is that we're building complete digital twins of our system. We now have the technology to emulate not only the controls, but the perception systems in a closed loop emulation environment. That means we can have a virtual model of our entire working system. 
At Symbotic, we have a very complex system that combines robotic sub-elements, let's say perception, robot arm motion planning. And the important thing for us is that we don't just focus on the optimization of one of the subfields, but how they interact with each other. And that overall system performance is what we try to improve and where we push the boundary. So now the movement of information and the movement of goods can be done autonomously and automatically, creating tremendous efficiencies and creating tremendous value for our society.